you have a rod that's very lightweight, um, but it actually drives the fly incredibly well. It tracks true, uh, it throws um, very accurately. Welcome back to Real Fly Rod Sage R8 Salt Breakdown. I'm Sean and I'm here with Todd. Todd, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing fantastic. So this rod just dropped brand new from Sage R8 Salt. Tell me about it. Uh, this is the first new uh, graphite technology from Sage in over 20 years. And it's a salt rod. So... It is a salt. It is uh, marketed as a salt rod. Um, we're going to talk about the crossover capabilities because there's a lot of buzz behind these rods. Yeah. Um, we uh, we were able to. I was actually able to go out and, and cast this today and spend some time with it, and it was a perfect day for it because the wind was blowing hard out there. Yes, and that's what this rod is designed to do: is punch through. Right. Yeah, I tell you, th this rod is is really nothing short of amazing. Um, this is a rod that any any angler can cast well. Um, I found that it was uh, it has a very large sweet spot, so very intuitive. And um, what I found is that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of flex through uh, through the the bottom section of the rod, but the the tip section is actually so, very very fast. Yeah. Yeah. And so what you end up with is you have a rod that's very lightweight, um, but it actually drives the fly incredibly well. It tracks true. Uh, it throws um, very accurately right to the target. Right from first pickup, because if you miss that, you know, third false cast in. You're, you're missing that fish. Well, the saltwater game happens so fast that uh, when, a, when a fish comes by and he's cruising, you may get one shot. One. And, and if you're able to pick up, redirect with just one back cast, you may get a second shot. Yep. That's where this rod excels. Hell yeah. It's the, it's the, it's the quick shot. Um, I'd say it's, it's very accurate within 50 feet. And I was able to actually pick up, put the fly down, redirect, and put and shoot it shoot again and shoot again hey, that's what it's about out there i was able to uh turn around and cast into the wind with the wind at my back try different angles the rod performs incredibly well and um they the, what they did was they actually built this rod with this new technology and it's a 25 percent stronger than previous fly rods but it's also supposed to be incredibly durable yeah so if you're <laughs> if you're ever out uh in in your on a on a important fishing trip and you end up breaking a rod it is absolutely heartbreaking yes and uh, that's much less likely to that's happen with the r8 salt absolutely if you watch uh, the r8 salt like uncover video real quick they show you in there there's a guy inside a drift boat and they're trying to pick up a car battery uh i think that's uh what is his name peter knox the sage engineer behind this just went down to florida and put these rods through the ringers multiple times with all of these guides just trying to find the perfect rod for them and i think they did it well and they're supposed to have incredible lifting power and more fighting power but the problem is when you get to these uh these really stiff saltwater rods uh sometimes they tend to be uh, kind of a broomstick a, a little too stiff like a log they they lose the feel they lose lose the responsiveness yeah. and that's one thing that i really enjoyed about this rod is uh, this rod does not feel like a heavy rod. I cast the eight weight; it felt incredibly light. Um, I was yeah, able was the to. One I like to. <laughs> yeah, it um, it just it really threw gorgeous loops. Yeah, and it's it's a rod that's going to make the saltwater game easier for the average angler. Yeah, I mean, and you could always you could take this and put it right in the freshwater, like you said in the beginning. I mean, that the backbone on it with the finesse tip makes it real easy for trout as finicky ones when you know well it's interesting because you've got the r8 uh you've got the r8 core rods and then you've got the r8 salt and the way that they overlap is very similar to like the orvis helios mm -hmm. where you've got the the finesse and you've got the distance versions well the the biggest difference between those rods and between the r8 core and the r8 salt is the flex through the the middle of the rod and the versus a very fast action tip. Yeah. So that's going to be the R8 salt. What's going? To, that's what's going to make this eight weight a phenomenal bass rod. Yeah. Um, you can go down to the six weight, and now you've got a great streamer rod. 
Uh, the seven weight excels at streamers, uh, especially from a boat. But then you've got, um, you go down to the six weight, you've got a great smallmouth rod. Yep. So there's a lot of crossover. Um, these are probably the most versatile saltwater rods that, that I've cast. I thank God for Sage doing their homework on these, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, and just in time for the saltwater season, so yep. guys are starting to gear up and playing their trips now. So it's a perfect time for the new launch. And um, again, you know, this is gonna this is a ride that's gonna make the saltwater game much easier it, for most guys. This is gonna change the game this year, and people need to be on it. This is on our website. This is on our website. We've got them in stock, and uh, we are actually shipping them out as we speak. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, what is the what is these going out the door for uh, right these, now? These are eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred dollars. I mean, that's not bad for a rod that you're going to have forever. And their warranty program, I know Sage, they back it up. So even if by chance you do catch that monster minivan, you know, in the parking lot. They will still help you replace it. Well, and, you know, that's not uh, eleven hundred dollars is not cheap for a fly rod no, by not. any means. Um, but you know, the the buzz in the fly fishing world is that this is the best saltwater rod that's been built yet. And after casting it, I can believe it. Hey, take it out, test it, let us know. Hey, we got real fly rod merch in the showroom. Todd, let me do it. Limited supplies. They're on the website. Sipping the dry koozies and glasses. Check them out if you want anything else. Hit us up, Sean at Real Fly Rod, Todd at Real Fly Rod. Till next time, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.